Hey, happy Wednesday night, everyone. Meteorologist Joe Martucci here. We just came out with an article putting this winter that wasn't in perspective. And at Atlantic City International Airport, it has felt more like Virginia over the past couple of months. Let me show you how here. If we go over and put this in motion, you see February was more like Roanoke. January and February combined more like Norfolk, Virginia. And when you take into account climatological winter, typically the coldest three months of the year, felt more like Richmond, Virginia. So if you're thinking about moving down to Virginia over the next couple of years, well, this is kind of what their average winter is like here. Of course, we had record low snowfall as well. And we talk all about that in the Something in the Air podcast. You can get it wherever you get your podcast. It came out earlier today. All right, let's take a look at our satellite and radar here. Rain has stayed to our east today. We'll zoom on out into the country here. And you see that we do have two storm systems in the southern half of the United States. Both of them come our way. The first one will be early tomorrow. That's out in the Ozarks right now. And then we have one in the Pacific Southwest. That is bringing snow to places like Tucson, Arizona, that will be our bigger storm as we go into Friday night. Here's a look at our future cast, show you what's going on here across the area. This is 9 o'clock tonight. We have some cloud cover around here. There'll be some areas of fog, too. Then as we go into early on Thursday morning, rain starts to work in. It'll be brief, an hour, maybe 90 minutes. And by 9 o'clock, 10 at the absolute latest, the fog is gone and the rain is gone. And then we'll see increasing sunshine. We'll go to partly sunny as we go into a very mild afternoon 60s inland, 50s at the coast here. And then as we go into Thursday evening, still staying mild, only falling through the 50s and 40s. And we'll be in the 30s as we go into our Friday morning. Here's a look at that fog forecast for your Thursday here. So some haze around, we'll call it one to two mile visibility at 7 a.m. And then it lifts as we go forward in time. So not going to be super dense out there, but still just want to pay a little bit of attention, especially inland here over at the shore. We should be okay. Let's take a look at our future cast as we go into our next storm. That's going to be Friday here. Big old low pressure system out in Oklahoma and Arkansas early on Friday. It's going to take a while for it to get here, though. It's because high pressure is in charge for Friday, keeping us dry. But rain will move in as we go into the afternoon hours. Now, what's going to happen is this low pressure system is going to transfer its energy from the Midwest to just offshore here. As it does so, and that low pressure moves through New Jersey and offshore, we get a heavy dose of rain and some very strong winds as well. And then eventually coastal flooding as we go into Saturday morning here. And then it's gone by, let's say, sunrise on Saturday, but a good snowstorm in northern New England with this here. And when we look at our storm threats, we'll go with a moderate for tidal flooding in wind damage here. It does look to be minor flood stage everywhere Saturday morning, but I can't rule out the possibility for moderate flood stage as well, especially in the Barnegat Bay. Wind damage does look to be likely in a few spots. Not everywhere. Most of us should be okay, but in a few spots. And there's potential for gusts even up to 70 miles an hour if we see a thunderstorm on Friday night. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. So Friday, much colder day compared to Thursday. Highs only in the mid-40s, but temperatures actually rise a little bit, especially in the second half of the night. We should be around 50 degrees on Saturday, and then our highs should be in the low 50s. Then as we go into the weekend here, Saturday could see a returning afternoon shower. I think it's mostly dry during the day. Sunday's definitely dry on a gusty northwesterly wind. Then as we go into the next week, notice temperatures not well into the 50s and into the 60s. More typical for this time of the year, even below average and as we go into next week and the following week and even the week after that, most of the rest of March, we look to be seasonable or even cooler than average here. A much different scenario than what we've had over the past couple of months.